so I select next and we should have a summary of the actions that will be taken here. We see that the IPS rule will be applied to our fast ethernet 00, zero interface which we had uh, selected and we will be using the built-in signatures. Click finish and we'll see the commands that will be uh, sent out to the router. We can see that IPS will notify using uh, the security device event exchange. It's going to create this rule with the name stm underscore IPS underscore rule and apply that to the fast ethernet 00, zero interface inbound. So that is accomplished with this particular command right here. So we will deliver those commands to the router. You can see that the nine commands were successfully submitted and IPS should be running. If I bring up router one we can see that it's using the built-in signatures the SDF was loaded successfully from the built-in signatures and uh, it went ahead and built the signature files and initiali initialized the engine there. I, bef before I get into some of the actions and rules that we have here, I'll go back to the monitor tab and we can bring up the IPS status right down here, the bottom left hand side. What we'll see here is all of the active signatures as well as the inactive signatures. All of the 132 signatures on the built-in signature definition file are active. We can see uh, we've got F some FTP signatures here to look for, SMTP, uh, just a lot of well-known issues and uh, things that the router can look for suspicious activity and what we will be doing here is the ICMP uh, request, echo request to deny ping requests from outside IPs that, uh, that we specify. And once we go through here we will see uh, the hits column here and the drop count um, both of those will be uh, ticking and counting up 